Well, the signs of a slowdown ramp up uh, ever so slightly. Fixed income ETF inflows hit a near eight month high for the week ending November 1, climbing 64% from the previous week. And muni bond flows were particularly strong, posting their first positive week in eight and seeing their best inflows of the year. Investors have pushed total, a total of $1.2 billion into those funds so far this year. And our next guest still sees some buying opportunities out there. Joining us is Dwayne McAllister, Senior Portfolio Manager at the Baird Funds. Dwayne, uh, welcome. Good to have you with us. Uh, it's surprising Thanks, to me. Uh, I mean, I, are, are, is what's happening here a recognition that people think rates are beginning to peak and that this is a, a good time to lock in maybe or to go after those higher yields? Yeah, I think that's exactly what's happening. I, I, honestly, I think people are finally coming around to realize there's just really good value in, in the bond market, uh, broadly speaking, and certainly in the municipal bond market. You know, high-quality taxable securities, you can earn roughly 6% today, you know, obviously up significantly from where we were just two or three years ago. But when you look at the, the municipal market, uh, the tax-adjusted yields there are in the range today of seven and a half to eight and a half percent depending on your tax bracket and I think the compelling value is just really beginning to come through uh, people recognize that you know you buy bonds primarily for income and safety and but if you can earn somewhere in the range of seven to eight percent now you're uh, putting yourself in a competitive game if you will uh, against other asset classes including equity and I, I think the other point is just that while you can get something like equity like returns today in, in the muting bond market without taking a lot of risk, the volatility is probably a quarter of what it is typically in your uh, uh, S&P yeah. 500. If you're lucky enough to uh, live in a state like New Jersey, I think the tax equivalent yield might be even higher. It is. We've seen, uh, you know, uh, 9, 10 percent if you're in New York, New Jersey, California. And these are just really, really compelling values. And I think uh, the other thing is that unlike the Treasury market, which obviously a big concern the last several weeks has been uh, the abundance of, of issuance and supply, uh, the muni market has been stagnant Pretty for stable. about 15 yeah. years. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we've got about $4 trillion of outstanding municipal debt. That was exactly where we were you know, after the financial crisis of 08. I would say that people perhaps underappreciate the checks and balances of the state and local government. Uh, if if your local school district wants to uh, borrow to build a new school, uh, they typically have to come to market to, or come to the voters and, and get their approval. Uh, you can imagine how challenging that, challenging that would be at the federal level, uh, particularly when we deal with the debt ceiling uh, just periodically. But uh, most states have limits on the amount of debt that can be uh, issued. So, you know, we'd, lo we'd love to see more. Supply, I think, will get more over the next uh, few years, and hopefully, most, with the infrastructure. Most states spending. have to run a balanced budget. And as you just pointed out, my, my township just went through last year a big school bond uh, issuance. It was hard fought. It was $180 million to do uh, capital improvements that had been postponed. But at any rate, it, it ultimately did carry, and uh, our taxes went up yeah. reflectively. But let's talk about th there are different pieces of the muni market. Where should I, if I'm looking at individual, should I look at revenue bonds, GOs, what? Well, I would start first of all with our view is that you you don't have to step down in credit quality right now. In fact, we're we're focusing more on the higher rated issues, the double A, even triple A. Uh, one interesting little statistic is you can get 80% uh, of the yield you would receive in a triple B bond in a triple A bond today. So you're getting well paid to stay up in quality. And and a little acronym we've come up with is the bonds we like today are what we would call ROBs, or just regular old bonds. So what <laughs> people know when they think of the muni market, the, the uh, uh, GO bonds, uh, school district bonds, uh, water sewer, essential service revenues, uh, there's All just right. really strong credits out there. And I think the final point I would make on that is just, you know, these are domestic-based revenues. Uh, this is a U.S.-centric yep. market, obviously, and it's a, it's a way to kind of escape all the uncertainty and global turmoil that we're seeing around the world. Right. Well, Dwayne, it's been great to talk with you. I, I, I don't want to get myself too giddy here, but it's fun to talk about bonds again. Dwayne McAllister, appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you. Thanks, Tyler.
All right, before we go, there's still time to nominate a leader for CNBC's Changemaker list of women transforming business. The deadline is two weeks from today on November 17th. You can submit your nomination by going to CNBC.com slash Changemakers or scanning that QR code on the screen. Folks, that does it for the exchange. And there is Morgan getting ready. I'll join her on the other side of the quick break. There she is. Hey, Morgan. Be right over. Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Help build America's future with BAM-insured Muni Bonds. America is strong. And today's investments in essential American infrastructure make it even stronger. Build America Mutual only insures U.S. municipal bonds, providing an added layer of security to improve any portfolio with guaranteed income that helps investors reach their goals. Be part of building America. Build a better portfolio. Invest in BAM-insured bonds.